Hello there again. Uh, I'm going to give you a tour of Medic 1241, uh, which is the first line truck that we take out of Station 1. We also have a backup here, 1243, and then uh, Northside Station 2 has uh, one ambulance. Start here in the oxygen compartment. We have a, uh, this yellow thing here is called a stair chair. Uh, a lot of times when we go in people's homes, um, we're un unable to get the stretcher in there, so we have to uh, get the stair chair in if they're upstairs or if they're just in a tight spot, we use this to get out. It's a chair that has wheels on it. Uh, the green tank here is the main oxygen tank that uh, uh, supplies the back of the ambulance with oxygen. We'll move on to this compartment here. Is just we kind of store our, uh, our fire gear in case we're out on the ambulance and we get a fire call uh, that we're able to uh, have our fire gear go straight to the fire and get our gear on without coming back to the fire station. Go back to the back compartment here. Uh, we have some air packs. Uh, like I talked about, we can get ready and uh, uh, get our air packs on. And this is also a compartment for uh, the second guy on the ambulance's gear. This here is uh, got several backboards that we use for uh, moving patients if need be. We have some different splints for broken arms, broken legs, uh, things like that. And then this compartment here is, has C collars, uh, which is for, uh, to put on your neck in case you have a possible neck injury to keep your neck in line. Come up here to the uh, front compartment. And we have some different bags here. The blue bag here is a trauma bag. It has a lot of gauze, uh, some small splints, uh, a couple other different things, just dressings and stuff for traumatic injuries to stop bleeding and things like that. Uh, the orange bag here is specifically for kids. Uh, it has stuff in there that we can take in the house for kids of all different sizes, uh, pretty much all uh, combined in that one bag. This here, is called the Lucas. It is a device that we can put on a patient whose heart is not beating and it does uh, chest compressions for us um, without uh, wearing one of us out. All right, we'll go in the back now. This red bag here uh, is our jump bag. We take it pretty much into uh, every call. It kind of is like a compacted version of the back of the ambulance. It has all the important stuff that we need to get started in the back of the, uh, <laughs> to get started inside the residence. This drawer here has all of our different medications. We carry a lot of different medications. We have to know uh, a bunch of different doses. Uh, we've got medicine in boxes here and uh, different kind of fluids and uh, needles, syringes to draw up the medication. We'll go over here. This is kind of our airway um, slash oxygen compartment. We just have different kind of delivery devices that we put on people to uh, get them oxygen. Uh, different kind of advanced airways if somebody's uh, a critical patient that we can help breathe for them. Right here in our uh, drawer, we have some stuff that's locked up, some special medications and things like that. On our, on our uh, counter over here, we have, as you know, everybody with COVID going on, we have a bunch of different masks that we have to wear on calls now. Move over here to the cardiac monitor. We use this on every call. Um, we put stickers on people's chests and it's able to show us the electrical activity that's going on to your heart. Um, we're trained to realize or recognize which kind of uh, rhythm you're in so we can treat it if there's a problem. Uh, this cardiac monitor also does something called defibrillation, also known as shocking a patient. Um, if your heart's not beating and you're in a certain rhythm, we can try to shock it with electricity to get your heart restarted. Uh, a couple other things this thing does, it takes uh, blood pressure, checks your pulse rate. Um, a pretty pretty uh, important device for us. Up here is um, the different uh, parts for the, uh, the cardiac monitor. We have our monitor uh, patches, uh, extra battery, paper for the monitor. Uh, and that's strictly for the cardiac monitor. Down here we have some towels 
Just in case uh, we have a mess back here, we're able to wipe it up. And back here is kind of our personal protective slash trauma compartment. Uh, we have a lot of different bandages and dressings to uh, uh, help control bleeding. We also have our uh, COVID kits, which if we think somebody who's COVID uh, positive, we wear gowns, we wear two masks, we wear gloves. Um, and we wear eye protection, so we have some pre-made up kits and we have some extra things in here uh, for the PPE. This here is just uh, a, a clock that right now the time is wrong. However, uh, we can do different intervals on this clock for when we give certain drugs. If we have to give it again, we can set it at like five minutes, two minutes, whenever we need to get again. Because uh, sometimes we get busy and we need to be uh, reminded by this to, uh, to give the drug again. So over here is the bench seat side. This is a lot of times where we sit to start an IV on somebody. Um, up here is all of our IV fluids um, that we hang. And here is all of our different sizes needles. We got little bitty ones, we got big ones. Uh, we've got some IV start kits that has everything we need to get a, uh, an IV started. Uh, different kind of tubings. Um, Tape to hold the IV down. Uh, over here we got uh, sharps containers where we put all of our uh, needles that we use so nobody gets stuck uh, with a bad needle. Uh, so it goes straight from your hand into the sharps container. We got a trash can there um, for all the trash in the back that we make a mess with. Um, with the COVID, we've been uh, really working on cleaning and sanitizing. We have a, a sanitizer back here, bleach wipes to keep everything clean. So I'll show you how we uh, use the stretcher here. This is called a striker stretcher. It can hold up to 700 pounds. Uh, what we have in this ambulance is called uh, the power load system. Uh, and I'll show you how that works. So you just pull it out, it automatically goes up. And you're able to press the button and it automatically goes down instead of having to lift. So we're just gonna assume that we have a patient on here and we're wheeling them. We usually have one guy at the back, one guy in the, in the, by the feet down here. We're able to hook it into our power load system, press the uh, minus button here, and the legs go up automatically. Instead of, like I said, having to uh, lift a patient in the ambulance, we're able to just kind of slide them in, hold on to the handle, and it locks into place. And then we're ready to go.